Tonight, several Republican lawmakers are rallying around former President Donald Trump 24 hours after he pleaded not guilty to a third set of criminal charges. These ones are related to the Capitol insurrection. ABC's Justin Finch reports. After being indicted for the third time in four months, former President Donald Trump leaving his latest arraignment doubled down on his claims that the Justice Department is being weaponized against him. If you can't beat him, you persecute him. Trump, who denies all wrongdoing, insists he's being targeted because polls show he's the front runner for the Republican presidential nomination and the likely opponent of President Joe Biden in 2024. Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy agreeing. It seems as though every time Trump goes higher in the poll, he gets a new indictment. But a new ABC News Ipsos poll finds 65% of Americans believe Trump's election interference charges are serious, including 51% who call them very serious. Special counsel Jack Smith was in the courtroom as Trump pleaded not guilty to the four criminal counts, including conspiracy to defraud the United States. In this new indictment, Smith alleges Trump and his allies falsely claimed election fraud and pressured state and other elected officials to overturn his 2020 election defeat. The special counsel argues those efforts led a violent mob to storm the Capitol on January 6th when Joe Biden's Electoral College victory was being certified. Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn responded that day and was in court for Trump's arraignment. It's a, uh, a necessary step on the road, the path to justice and accountability. Trump was released on conditions, including he not discuss facts about the case with anyone he knows to be a witness, unless through counsel or with counsel present. The district judge overseeing this case said August 28th for a pretrial hearing. She's also ordering the special counsel and Trump's defense team to propose start dates for the trial. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.